What are you doing over there, Jordan? Taking selfies? Sell fees. Good morning, you dirty old stash stains. It's horrible lighting. It's me, it's Jordan. We were at this bridge that a subscriber, a uh, friend on Facebook named Chris Johnson told me about. And uh, I have been here before. I came here at the beginning of the year. Jordan, you can do what you want to do. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Get them suckers out there. Um, but yeah, friend on Facebook told me about it. I did try it once earlier in the year. The water was way higher. The water was way muddier. It's kind of like pea soup right now, so it's not much better. But it is lower, more manageable. And it was like 45 degrees when I fished it the last time and I got my ass kicked. I did catch a couple drum butts. I snagged a carp on a blade bait. And you guys never saw it because it sucked. But it is a very cool spot. Kind of got this bridge you can walk on, you can fish with the current so you don't have to throw against the current or sideways with the current so good help as far as snags go and yeah we brought everything but maybe including the kitchen sink so yeah we're gonna get some live baits out try here we also got a spot that way jordan or is it that way i thought it was blowing Anyway, there's another spot we can try too that's on a bigger river that connects to this that could be pretty good as well. So come on with Jordan and I, see what the hell we can catch. Stuff and things. Uh, yeah. All right, bait number one, going out. Going out. Goal today is flatheads, walleyes, and wipers, and then whatever trash fish we can get from there. Current's ripping. Poor something grabbed it already, but I think that was just current. Too good to be true. Shout out to Catfish Chris on YouTube for the uh, upgraded low profile catfish reel. I've mentioned it in a couple things while I was recording, but uh, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen it because most of the time when I mention it, I haven't really caught much, so I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it. So shout out to Catfish Chris on YouTube for sending me the fancy reel to dry out. I appreciate it, but let me get the rest of the baits out and uh, yeah, see what happens and stuff. Just current. You what? How much weight you got on there? That's all right if it moves around. But I have a slider on it too. Yeah, I do too. That might actually be a fish. Jordan, that's a fish. That's a fish. It's a flathead, I guarantee it. That was so fast. Yeah, it's kind of squirrely like a channel. I don't know how I'm gonna land it. That was so fast. I thought it looked like a fish and not the current. No, not too bad. It's kind of right at the edge. Dude, that was instant. On the sunny. Yeah, we're going to have to work together. I'm going to have to walk it. What is it, a flat? I think it's a baby flat. Sick, Jordan. Sick. Yep, flat. Oh, oh shit. He's mean in the current. <laughs> that was so quick. That was so sick. Somehow I gotta land him. I could probably almost just boat flip him. I kind of want to eat him, but it's so early and it's gonna be so hot. If we get some channels later, I might kill him. 
But this guy is gonna get the pass probably. Dude, that was nuts. Instant flathead, man. Instant. About went in. This shit's actually raging pretty good. Alarm's going off, must be seven. Dude, I'm like shaking nervous about this little flathead just because it happens so quick. Sick. He would be like the perfect eater, but we don't have a cooler. You gonna hold this for me, Jordan? <clears throat> I just engaged my reel and it just, <laughs> well, I just thought it was like current or debris or something because that's just how it's been lately. Engaged the reel and it just <laughs> slammed it. Get the foam off him. Not even a big one, but in the current, man. That dude just doubled that rod over. It's pretty warm. He looks pretty delicious, but... I really want to keep a flathead, but once again, today ain't the day. You get the pass, my friend. Well... Go home? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's, let's get another bait out and do it again. Just a uh, four ounce weight. Probably too small of a hook, honestly, for how big of a green sunfish I had on there. That was like an eight incher. And yeah, mad cats. Wouldn't have caught it without the mad cats and stuff. <clears throat> All right, somehow I have to get up out of this mess. Probably could have flipped that dude up, but I didn't want to do it on the first fish. Pretty sick though. Pretty sick. Holy shit, Jordan. Is your drag tight or loose? You might still have it, man. That thing was doubled over. Dude, that thing was getting slammed. I wonder if we have to move your truck. You got him or no? How's it going? Doing pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get out of the way. You can fish, but this stuff probably has something to move. Sounds good, man. So. Uh, but the poles are good, and then we'll probably just maybe move our shit closer to the truck. Yeah, that's fine. Just so there'll be dump trucks going top. It might be coming out of the grain or two pretty quick. So. Sounds good. I will uh, get the stuff moved then, man. Yep, no problem. Have a good one. All right, trucks are coming. we got to move some things, but... The poles can stay. All right, not sure if I left my ramblings in, but I wasn't sure how many lines we were allowed, so we were sticking with two, but Jordan called the game warden and we're allowed 15. So I'm gonna throw out a crawly boy. I guess there's a pole holder there. Just to see what else we can get. Besides the snag, no surprise to me, probably no surprise to you, this place is very snaggy. I've lost a hook and a whole rig and two live baits so far. So hopefully we can keep that to a minimum. All right, I wasn't recording for some reason, but uh, I got another something or rather on the sunny boy. It like hit it and locked my drag up and uh, yeah, kinda hooked itself, kinda didn't. Another flat, tiny one. Jordan, can you do me a huge favor? I got a blade bait and a pole sticking out into the road right there. The blade bait's still in the water. Man, I'm halfway tempted to keep this little guy. Probably won't though. Thanks, Jordan. 
I just looked over and my pole was bent. And I just left my pole behind. You what? What was? Oh, I know. How many cars have drove by? Like, they, that's crazy. And they don't give a shit about us. You what? Yeah, they're like these guys fishing, man. I can't believe how hard they fight in this current, even though he's tiny. Yeah, it's not big. It's just maybe a little smaller, but it's just getting in that heavy shit. I mean, look at the mad cats, Jordan. Just bent. Well, they're not giant, Jordan, but they are flatheads. I will never complain about a flathead. Let's see if we can get down here again without dying. That was such a big sunfish, and he like swallowed it somehow. <clears throat> I mean, obviously he's a flathead, so that's probably why, but I can't imagine getting a damn 25 out of here or something with that current. Be insane. Can you even see it? I can see my damn sunfish in his belly. Yeah, I should be able to get that. Oh, the sunny, he's gone. Sorry, flathead bud. He can send him back. Man, if I knew the sunny was gonna escape, I would've just let him keep it. He had it in his belly already. Right. Yes, he did. Sunny's lucky day, I guess. And my lucky day. Two flats. I think yours might have been bigger, Jordan, but it's so hard to tell with the current. But I know people catch big ones here and I can't even imagine like a 50 in this shit. Raging. Raging. Well, sorry I didn't get the excitement of the pole almost getting ripped in the water. I was just kind of testing out some lures and I thought my camera was on. The lures ain't working, but sure would be cool to catch a flathead on a... Tried a swim bait first, got it snagged, then a blade bait, but... New bait. And stuff. You got one? I just went to get my lunch shit. Jordan's got one. Sick, man. On a channel cat. On a channel cat? Yep. Nice. Okay. Man, we would have had some good eaters. Oh yeah, baby. We'll, we'll take that, yeah. Screw the Mad Cats. Shakespeare. Another, another fairly decent one. It's kind of been a lull in the action. Yeah. Don't they feel so heavy? I know. That current just dumping into their mouth. There's not too many moving rocks, Jordan, but still be careful. Old yellow belly. Yeah. A little bit lighter. I might have to take that big ass drum butt off and put a channel cat on. <laughs> Deal. I'll take one. So red on the yeah, something. He does look kind of odd, eh? Yeah. Nice, Jordan. Hook the bejesus out of himself. Yep. It's kind of weird, man. They're like all in the center. They're not on the sides, which is, I don't know, I guess maybe not that odd, but kind of odd. I mean, not monsters by any means, and I don't know why this isn't focusing on you, but three flatheads in just a few hours is pretty good in my book. 
Yeah, finally. I've had probably three opportunities. Two of them got snagged, one didn't hook itself. And uh, just threw this out, a little channel cat. And this guy wanted to play, pretty yellow. Nice. Get it back in. Nice, Jordan. Third flathead ever? Dang, what a year you're having. He's moving up. <laughs> Flathead virgin no more, Jordan. Well, we're getting bigger, too. Yeah, let's, healthier, sure. let's give it a little bit and see if we can get another, I expect. Get some channel cats and stuff. You want me to take anything? Nah, I'm not. All right. Yep. All right. Try to drum, bud. Sorry, drum, bud. I love you. I know you hate me, but maybe just a little bit too big for the fish that are around here. Thanks, Jordan. You want me to give you a couple bucks? No. <laughs> All right. Let's try the channel rat. Legal in Nebraska. Just counts towards your limit. storage your limit lunch time we got a cracker and cheese lunchable and a packet of tuna for extra protein pretty excited nothing crazy but pretty excited got him no I lost him I think oh no that was all my bad I should have hooked him in the holder on the channel dang it dang it I was about due for a fumble I was two for two you what Probably throwing it back. I bet we can catch millions of baby channels there. Be free! All right, well, as much as I'd love to stay forever and keep fishing this thing, uh, we got another really cool spot we can fish. There's a guy named Patrick coming back down to show us where it's at, too. So shout out to you, Patrick. Or we'll see you there or something, but. Shout out to Chris Johnson for the reel. I screwed up the only fish that bit it, but it seems pretty nice. And uh, shout out to the other Chris Johnson, double Chris Johnson shout out. What are the odds? It's almost like Chris Johnson is a common name. It kind of is, but shout out to both of y'all. Check out Jordan's channel. Shout out to this spot. Cool. Really, really cool. A few small flatheads, but a day catching a single flathead is good in my books. And I flathead fished for eight hours yesterday and I didn't even get a damn sniff, so thanks for watching. See you later. Stuff things. Pal, goodbye.